can't see through. No, you're all right. Ty. Ty, look at me. I'm sorry, mate. You and me both. I should never have listened to you two. But exactly, it's our fault, so let me speak to Kirsty. And say what? Hey? Say what, Tommy? I, I don't know. I, I'll make you understand. What, that you and Tina ate her? That's not true. The damage is done. Ty, this was all a massive misunderstanding. It's over, right? But we can still fix this. There is no we in this. It's just me. On my own. Back to square one. Morning, Roy. Good morning. Uh, bacon bun to take away, please. Of course, eh? Sauce? Uh, ketchup. Hey! All right. You look away with the fairies. Yeah, something like that. Shouldn't you be at work today? Thought I'd give it a miss. So, I've, I've heard the news. What are you on about? About you and Kirsty and the baby. Oh, that. <sighs> it's early days yet. Look, it's over. She dumped me yesterday. Oh, God, I'm sorry. What happened? I promise not to laugh. I accused her of having an affair. And she wasn't, of course, not even close. I dropped the ball. Well, then pick it up again. I broke her heart, Sal. You made a mistake. Mistakes can be corrected. Well, what if she's not interested? Well, then try again and again and again until you make her realise that you're the best thing that's ever happened to her. Can I get a lager top, please, though? Right. Is she about? Oh, she's on a break. I'll get her if you like. No, you're all right. You okay? Seem a bit distracted. Yeah. I had a bit of a run in with Ty last night. Kind of screwed things up for him and cursed it. Oh. But it was a joint effort, really, me and Tina. But basically, it's just one gigantic mess. Sounds like it. Maybe you two should concentrate on your own relationship without lobbing rocks at others. Sorry? Well, it's obviously like each other. Yeah, that's because we're, we're friends. Yeah, and I'm the Queen of Belgium. She's special. Well, then just tell her. And, and risk the mother of all knockbacks. So you don't rate your chances, then? Particularly. Oh, God, you're hopeless. Tommy, that girl's face lights up like a Christmas tree every time you walk in. Really? Really? Only you're too busy playing friends to notice. Notice what? Um, no, the fly was undone. Oh, nice. <laughs> Change, okay. What can I get you? Um, orange juice and tonic water, please. Learned our lesson after Eva's party, have we? Good to see it. Why couldn't I have just left it well alone here? Come on, you're only trying to protect him. Yeah, by ruining his life. Nice one, Tina. Hey, it'll work out. I won't count on it. Have... Okay, thanks. Yes, sir. I just need to see. Thanks. You. I've got this. Good afternoon, sir. Are you here to report a crime? I just need five minutes. Have you been the victim of a crime? Kirsty, hear me. Yes up. or no? No. Then you're wasting police time. Can I go, please? No. Do you know her? Sort of, yeah. She's the woman I love. Well, you than me, mate. I just want to talk. There's nothing left to discuss. Give that back. Make me. I'm warning you. Can I go, please? No! no. You're going to get me into trouble. I've already done that. Not a word. Hand it over. No. No. Guess you're going to have to arrest me. I haven't got time for your stupid games. Right, I wanted to do this in private. But you give me no option. Ty. Ty, stop messing about. With you. Everything makes sense. Will you marry me? What on earth were you thinking? I weren't. That's usually when I'm at my best. It's a lovely gesture. It wasn't a gesture. Oh, some stupid knee-jerk reaction. I want a flaming marrier. Is it the baby? Because she's mother. Look, I'm not trying to replace what I lost. I'm just trying to hold on to what I found. I'm scared, Ty. That's all right. So am I. No more reason to be careful. No, I'm done being careful. I just want to be happy. There'll need to be some changes. A better communication, for one thing. No problem. And you'll have to talk to Tina and Tommy. I'm all over it. 
You really sure about this? What's there not to be sure about? Ask me again. What do I have to do? <laughs> <laughs> will you marry me? <laughs> you bet I will! <laughs> right? All right. Uh, drinks all round, please, Star. And ginger ale. Oh, what's the occasion? Do you want to tell him or shall I? Tyrone's asked me to marry him. Oh! This. Welcome. So, uh, I just proposed. <laughs> yeah. But I'm really sure for you guys. Thanks. Look, Kirsty, about yesterday, we were only looking out for Ty. Yeah, well, he's not your concern anymore. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe so, but I hope we can still be mates. Mates? Tommy, you hate me, guns. Oh, that's not true. Oh, come off it. You and Tina have been gunning for me since day one. Hang on. I've stuck up for you loads of times. It really mattered. <laughs> like, look, Kirsty, I don't want to argue about Good. Because I'm only going to say this once. Me and Ty are a family now. Not you, not anyone. It's coming between us ever again. Give it, come on, give it here. There you go. <laughs> Maybe we should go out for some tea, celebrate properly. If you like. I'm good either way, hun. You OK? Just tired is all. It's been a mad day. But a good one. Best ever. Good. So what's bothering you? I'd rather not go into it right now. Well, tough. Better communication, you said. So come on. What's the problem? Tommy. Tommy's a problem. Well, I thought you two have made up. Why would you think that? I don't know. Just saw you talking in the pub and thought... Ty, I adore your optimism. The guy can't stand me. Well, he's told you that. He doesn't need to. Honestly, I feel like I'm treading on eggshells. I haven't even moved back in yet. I'll talk to him. He'll only make things worse. Look, it, it is what it is. Just have to try and find a way to make things work. You right? All right. Fancy you can? Yeah, why not? Where's Kirsty? I'm going to lie down. Weird day. Mm. Just a bit. <clears throat> Still, it's like old times, this. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad, cos, um, something I wanted to talk to you about. Yeah, but me too. All right, well, you go first. No, no, you go. Oh, cheers. <laughs> um, just wanted to talk to you about living arrangements. And what about them? Well, you know, we've got a kid on the way, and that's going to mean a lot of changes. Tons of noise, for starters. Are you asking me to leave? No, no, I, I'm just trying to get an idea of your future plans. Oh, I so needed that. Don't mind me. So as soon as you want us out? I never said I that. wasn't talking to you. It's got nothing to do with Kirst. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, well, that's odd, because she had plenty to say before when she was threatening me. I don't know what you're on about. Tina was right about you. Oh, I'm not doing this again. Ty, you need to get rid of her, mate. She's bad news. Well, it's lovely to be wanted. Hey, you're going nowhere. Apologise. Apologise. I don't apologise to psychos. Say that again! Go on, say it! Give me a reason! Hey, come away. I think you better leave now. Your free ride's over. You're making the biggest mistake of your life. Don't make me ask you again. Fine. It's your funeral. Cheers, mate. Yeah, so I was saying, right, he had me by the throat against the wall. I didn't even know he had a temper. What could I say? You disturbed the beast. The beast was sleeping and you riled him. Yeah, it's her, innit? It's just poison. Mm. They're all poison. Uh, we're not all poison, thank you. Hey, there she is, birthday girl. Hey, yeah. happy yeah. birthday. I'll make you a piece of toast celebrating style. Oh. Yeah. Oh, a nice one. Oh, uh, I've got you something as well. It's just, it's over the road, so we'll have to wait till it's safe. Oh, we'll have to lower it in like Mission Impossible. <laughs> Dear grandmother. Well, you're not no spring chicken, are you, babe? <gasps> eh? 21 years old now. I'll get your hand rail put in the bathroom. Yeah, OK, cheers. <laughs> All right. It's when you're picking up your pension. <laughs> After bingo. Ow! Hey, it's all right. I like a much old man. Well, that's good to know. Make us a cup of tea, will you, love? <laughs> you just had one. Yeah, well, it didn't take. I thought you had a hot date with a citron. No, there's no rush. Are you sure you don't want me to come with you? I'll be fine. I don't see why there has to be an investigation. Anyway, Tina, drop the complaint. They'd have investigated anyway. Coppers only have to look at someone funny and they investigate. So what happens today, then? 
You hear all the evidence, go away, decide what to do with me. And the worst case scenario is? The death penalty. What? What is this, though, damp? What do you say? I could lose my job, but I'm sure it won't come to that. So it might just be the pockets? Ty, I think you went a bit far last night. You didn't need to chuck Tommy out. Well, what, you want me to ask him back? Well... <laughs> We've only just got our privacy. And if I ask him back, we might never get shut of him. I mean, think about it. A lodger and a baby. That's just asking for trouble. I suppose. Anyway, how's that brew coming along? You're cheeky, you are. But mine cheeky. I'm thirsty, Kirsty. <laughs> You're late for work. You can brew up over there. Right, good luck with the earring. Good luck with the citron. Oh, yeah, and uh, knock him dead. <laughs> well, you know, not. Bye, love. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's hoping for a slap on the wrists. How could you throw him out? Hey? Right. Well, I wouldn't have if you hadn't stuck the boot into Kirsty. Let's just have our drink. You're like a puppet tie. She's got her hand so far at your backside like a ventriloquist dummy. He speaks for himself. See, there we go, and his lips don't even move. And how old are you today, Tina? Eight. Keep the change. Happy birthday. Oh, I'll buy myself a lollipop, should I? Oi! He's a big boy. So are you. I have lost four. Teen pounds in the last six months, I'll have you know. Ty, this is getting ridiculous. You've cut Tina off, now Tommy. It's like a refugee camp at our flat. What's he saying? Nothing. I'm just reminding him who his mates are. Tell it, Jace. Well, you should keep your nose out. He's all right. Just don't end up like one of them couples, mate. What couples? You know what I mean. Are you going to stand here and take this? Tommy did not act like a mate, right? Are you sure? Why am I always the villain just because I don't let people walk all over me? Honestly, Ty, take charge for once. I did take charge. I kicked out my best mate. How's that not taking charge? Okay, I'll see you at home. If only the mother of your unborn child had been spoken to like that. I'm not having it. Well, I've just got you a juice. Well, never meant for that to happen. 